Uh, what is going on? I already know it's Orlando and today Yo guys, I haven't showed you guys my official build the first build I'm grinding right now. So that's what I want to do with this video I feel like I made the best stretch big well best to my play style because everyone has a different play style Everyone plays differently and I feel like the stretch big build I made is best to my play style let's get that straight because some of y'all may not agree with what i made so uh without any further ado let's just get right into it if you're looking to buy or sell a 2k account make sure you hit up sports tmd the most reliable account service in the 2k community he has a bunch of accounts with high overalls max badges and more make sure you let him know orlando and chicago sent you all right, as y'all can see, if you saw my video um, back in August during the prelude, I did make a stretch big, but this one got tweaked. So it's a little bit different, a little bit better, like stat wise, okay? I did go with the center. Like I explained in the other video, I'm going with the center over a power forward because you get an extra couple badges at playmaking. It's kind of weird. I don't know why they do that, but like with the center, they just give you a little bit more badges than they would with a uh, power forward. And that's why I went with the center and I made them left-handed because you know, I'm about the left-hand shooting since 2K, like, you know, 12 or whatever. We're gonna go with the continue. And then right here, uh, we're gonna go with the, the pie chart that has the most green filled so our shootings, you know, max, as y'all can see here, it shows us that it is an 87, you know, midi 84 three pointer. 95 post fade i definitely went with this one right here so it's the what pie number is this one one two three four five the fifth one down all right and then for the physical profile i ended up going with the second profile i know in my other build i choose i chose a different profile but but yeah i, I was told that this one gives you better stats so i checked it out and it actually does give you better stats for my build so i had to go with the better statistical you know pie chart so we went with the second one right there and then for our little you know uh stats here how we're gonna fill these up is obviously we're gonna max out mid-range and three-pointer we're gonna max out all our shooting so we get 30 badges and if you guys didn't know there's a trick so you guys get more attributes for other places so if you still want 30 shooting badges but you don't care about your free throw look at this you can move this down and gain let's see it's at 84 right you can get it to get it up to a 78 and we get six extra attributes now added on to a different location where we like to add it on so i'll have my free throw at a 78 because i really don't think i'm gonna need a max out free throw like that you know so we leave that at 78 and max all these other ones out because you know post fade three point shot and mid range you know we want to use those you know that's some cheesy stuff and then the pass accuracy we're gonna max that out ball handle max that out post moves max that out but once again you know we want to get those 14 playmaking badges but we kind of want to get attributes to place them somewhere else as well so i feel like you know centers are not going to be able to dribble this year no matter what your stats are going to be at i kind of want to keep my passing high i want my post moves high so we're gonna delete some of these ball handling skills get it down to 43 right here we still have 14 badges and we just gained a bunch of extra attributes once again we can use later on and then we're gonna go over here with our defense max everything out because defense is always important man i gotta play defense some people be making stretch bigs and put zero on defense what if you play against a post score or you have to guard a guard or something you have no defense People are going to be cooking you. People are going to be dunking on you. Post scores are going to be wrecking you. It's just like you got to have your defense, especially for a stretch, because, you know, you got to have something in the, in the defensive end. And then once again, you know, we want to save some attributes for our defense. I feel like, you know, the perimeter defense, we're going to lower this a bit so we can keep nine defensive badges. And it looks like we can lower it down to a 52 because I want my lateral quickness to be kind of up there. So our, we're just going to lower this to a 52, get some more attributes. So all these extra attributes now, we have 21 extra ones. People normally have like five or four here and they can only add four. But since we did this little trick and, you know, got some extra ones off every single thing and still have all our badges, we have 21 to add. And, you know, I feel like I don't really care about my driving layup because we don't need it because I feel like anyone's going to be able to make a layup, you know, driving dunk. 
if we max it out it's only gonna get to a 46 oh wait, what is that 46 yeah we can only get it to a 46 so that's not a big deal standing dunk i feel like i'm never gonna standing dunk you know post hook no one really uses post hooks unless you're a post scorer so i feel like the close shot because of one of the devs they said a close shot is considered anything within like 15 to 10 feet within the basket range so that's pretty much the whole box paint you know and i feel like i will shoot in the in the paint and near the rim so i feel like we're just gonna max out our close shot to 78 and that's what i did with my build all right uh this is the exact same build i made um i already have my player made all right i just went through this so i can show you guys my build and i'm telling y'all i make layups and my sh and my shit's at 40 all right my dude be making everything in the paint because i feel like this close shot is clutch at a 78 I'm, i do post moves and hit stuff contestedly i get green lights and everything in the paint and i make all my layups i have no problems no issues with any of that so i feel like this is perfect you don't need driving layup or dunk and all of that you know and then the thing the uh, the next thing i made my uh build i made them into did i make them solid no i made them built bro this man is jack bro he got big arms bro we like i don't even got arms like that but dude that man my, my, my dude jack when you make them build they make them like jack jacked all right and then i made them 6 11 in the original prelude i did make them seven feet tall but if you don't make them 6 11 look at the stats you get plus five on defense lateral quickness and steel and y'all know i'm gonna get some pickpockets so i want to be able to you know snatch some steals so i feel like that plus five is gonna help a lot and on top of that you get a plus two on mid-range plus two at three point and a plus two at a free throw which gets you up to an 80 now so you know i went with 611 it also gets your speed up acceleration up vertical up bro you just gotta go with 611 all right height's not everything this year i feel like this is the first year where being 73 or seven foot or whatever you know people were making the past years is not like the way to go okay so we go to continue and then with the weight i just went with the max weight 285 because if you go 284 you lose some strength 285 you get that plus one at strength that gets you up to an 84 strength because if you're like whatever they start you out at it's like at a 74 you get like plus 10 strength for having maxed out weight you know you lose some vertical that's all right you lose some vertical quickness but that's all right but you gain a plus six interior defense and i feel like if i'm gonna be running with the guard i'm gonna be i'm gonna have to guard these post scores you know like on the twos or on the pro-am or at the park or something and i'm gonna be having to defend these big men so i need my interior defense up and i need my strength up so i can hold them and that's why i went this way you know and then with the wingspan y'all know you can move it around higher and i'll still have like an 85 midi 83 you know three or 82 three but I didn't want to do that. I can lower it all the way down to an 83 wingspan and have a 94 mid range and an 89 three pointer. But I don't want to have T Rex arms, you know? I want to be able to contest and get boards and all of that. So I just stayed within an 88. You no, know, it didn't hurt any of my stats. I still have an 89 mid range and an 86 three pointer. I mean, you can't go wrong with these stats, guys. 88. I mean, these are good stats, you know? So we went with that. And then. It gives you an option for four takeovers. You get spot up shooter, post score, rim protector, or playmaker. Obviously, we don't need the playmaking badge because I feel like that's kind of pointless, you know? So, and the rim protector does sound kind of good. I kind of did want to get that. The post score badge sounds good too, but you know, I can't really dunk and do that kind of stuff. So, I just went with the spot up shooter badge. And to be honest, it's actually really good. It's not like last year's where you can run around with the ball and shoot and green everything. You actually gotta, you know, just catch and shoot with it. But from the games I played, you, if you have like all your badges, even if you have like dead eye and all of this, if you have this activated and someone hits you with a dime and your, you know, takeover is activated, the spot up shooter, you can shoot in people's faces in green. Like I've been doing it, man. Like they can be in your freaking face and you can shoot and you're gonna green it you're not gonna make it all the time but i've been getting greens in people's faces like this is like a take dumb shots type of uh badge but you have to just be like spot up so yeah i know i like it and that's why i chose it but yeah guys that is my build i made i know a lot of people wanted to know what kind of stretch i made and to be honest i really love the build like it's op like i've gotten a crap load of badges 
Uh, I think I have like 15 badges now or something. I'm halfway to the 30. It's a grind, you know, but I got to play some more my career, get my badges up. But dude, I'm telling y'all, this is a level three score build and this build is insane. Like you can do so much. If you can shoot from deep, you can hit middies, you can hit fadeaways and you can hit post fadeaways. You got some post movement as well. You got a 95 post move. You can pass the rock and play defense. It's like an all around build. It feels really good. The only weakness I have with this build is I can't dunk. I can do layups, you know? So it's not a big deal. It's whatever. So I do recommend making this build if you guys want to make a stretch. But if you guys want to switch out your attributes to whatever is, is in your liking, you know, you like to dunk and not shoot all the time and you don't like to play defense, then so be it, you know? But I hope this video helped you guys out. I know you guys wanted to see what kind of stretch I made. But make sure you guys drop a like on the video and subscribe. I'm going to get some gameplay for you guys so you guys can check out my stretch in the next video. So make sure you guys subscribe for that. But for right now, guys, I'm the O and I'm out. Uh, look at me now, I came up. I've been thinking back then when I almost gave up on the game because I never got in my way. Never got my